Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right. So people like it when I have these type of videos, when I put out these type of videos, because, you know, I'm going to say I'm a, you know, elder gentleman at the age of 50 and I've seen some things. So I kind of understand what's going on. I have a, a, a understanding of what's going on. And I want you to hear what this lady has to say. And I found this interesting but at the same time i wasn't shocked because a lot of times you've heard men speak about this and a lot of times in particularly with women in our community you know they seem to get tone deaf and basically the way this lady was speaking it was almost like it was a reality check to her and it was almost like you know she was shocked based off how she was talking but I give her credit. She spoke what many of us men were saying was the absolute truth. Now, I'm going to let you hear what she has to say. And then, of course, I'm going to give my final analysis and I'm going to close out the video and let y'all good people, you know, discuss it amongst each other. So just take a listen. So I've been holding this video in the vault for a very long time, but I'm finally going to talk about it. Kendra G's gathering in Philadelphia was empty. And I believe I walked past, it was like, and the crazy thing is I was with my man. I was on a date. That's the crazy thing about it. Um, when did I walk past? It was like in the middle. So I'm walking through the, sing the Kendra G single slide Philly and nobody is there, y'all. Hold on, look. closer to the end, right? So I walked past and it was like a big old Kendra G Kendra sign and I wanted to see, I wanted to meet Kendra. Like that's what I went for. I wanted to meet Kendra and Kendra and he's like who's he didn't really know who Kendra was but I was telling him who Kendra was and I was like I want to meet Kendra. So I go down there and I walk in. I didn't record when I was walking there but I did record me walking past and leaving and the girl at the front desk was like Kendra is not here. Kendra didn't show up. I said, okay, well, is this, this is it? She was like, this is it. Like, this. And I said, well, did a lot of people leave? And she said, no. Like, because I thought I got there on the tail end of the party. And she was like, no. It wasn't a lot of. But what the part that got me is she said, only two men walked in. It's been nothing but women there all night. As you can see in the video, it's nothing but women. As I was counting the video, it was like 14 women. And then that's not even including the women that were in the back. It was like groups of women in the back getting drinks. And it was two men. Two men. And the part that kills me is that one of the men, right? And this is what, when women say they don't compete for men, it kills me. Because deep down inside, they do. They just put it in the front and say they don't, but they do in real life. Right? One of the men pulled up in a black Bentley truck. Like, while I was at the desk, because he was looking for parking. So, another man pulls up in a Bentley truck and walks to the front. And everybody got up out their seats, looking up, looking at the door. Everybody. He walked in, he looked around, he walked up and talked to the DJ. Eyes, all the women's eyes was on him. He was that six, he was a tall judge. So I'm thinking in my head, this is Kendra's show in real life. All of the women are looking for this small selection of men. The six foot, that's, that was the six foot six figured man they all were looking for. That was him. And they all was, and I'm standing there, I'm looking, I swear, I'm looking. And he talks to the DJ and they tagging it up and he just walks right on out and they watched him walk right on out and I was like you can't tell me men at the prize child you can you can lie and say they aren't but women outnumber men so bad in especially popular urban areas in Philadelphia even when you watch but even when you watch Kendra G's show there are more women on the show Kendra say this all the time there are more single women than men there are more single women than men. There are more single women than men. If you look at Kendra G's video, scroll down. I counted it. I'll do what y'all want with that information. But 
it, it, it was just a funny sight to see. I honestly believe dating is dead. I don't think people should date. I don't think, I think dating is dead. I don't think you should date. If you already haven't found your partner and you know you're superficial, just have hookups and call it a night. Just have hookups and call it a night. That's just me personally. Because most people are superficial, whether they like to say it or not. But, yeah, that was it. The six-foot-six figured man walked through, saw the women that was up for grabbing, didn't choose any, and walked right on out. I was shocked. I thought more men was going to come out, especially the men that be in the comment section. But I'm not going to lie, Kendra Dayton show does not have the good. I wouldn't go to an event for Kendra anyway. I was going to be fucking nosy. And I was with my man, but I feel like... The people who are on her show, they're not they're not good dating options. Like, they're not good dating options. Like, even if you watch her show, like, the men and women that goes up there, they're not good options to choose from. Nobody on there is healed. So I can imagine what it was like in real life. I just thought more men would be there. That's all. That was just me. I thought more men would be there. I thought it would be an equal event. But to see if it was full with women, this is not my first time hearing about this, but I'm just being... You hear that? I hope that was a revelation for you women that um, go on Kendra G's shows that have these extremely high expectations that you <laughs> expect men to meet and you really don't fit their criteria. I'm just going to keep it a buck. You heard what she said. Those people that come on Kendra G's show are not what you call a good option. They are not women that you want to bring home to your mother or father. They are not women that if you are a single father or something, you want to bring, bring around your son or your family members, bring to the picnic, you know, and she said it best. Nobody showed up because at the end of the day, the dating game is dead and women have ruined it with their ridiculous demands and expectations. That's just impossible to meet. I'm just going to keep it real. You heard what the lady said, the, the six foot dude that makes six figures. He came in there, looked around and seen what was there. He didn't like the options and he left. And it's more women than men. When y'all keep saying that y'all have options, eh, it ain't as true as you think. Due to the fact that it's less men than women, we are the ones that have options. And then based off the fact that you can be pretty in the face, but have a, uh, but you're ugly inside. And then some of y'all, <laughs> I've seen some of the women that be on the Kendra G show. Like you have to understand some of y'all are not in the position to be calling shots. Cause at the end of the day, I don't want to bring home a woman that got tat more tattoos than me. And I don't even have tattoos. What it looked like me bringing some woman home that got tattoos all on her neck, all over her arms, all on her, all over her fingers, all. I, I mean, come on. That's that's just that's just weird. You have to understand. Your options are slim and then the good options that would be a good option for you, you don't want them. You keep talking about, well, you're not going to settle for this. You're not going to settle for that. And you talking about some women that have a man and that's happy with their, their man. You call him a pick me. Cool. Judge Lynn Tyler. She said she was a pick me and she was married for years until her husband passed away and she was happy and she still speaks highly of her husband. But at the end of the day, um, Keep wearing your bonnets. Keep having your extremely long nails that make weird noises when you, you know, when you just randomly moving your finger. Keep listening to your auntie that's out of shape, smokes cigarettes, got a pot belly, ain't had a man since Menace to Society was a new new release. Cool. At the end of the day. Keep waiting for this miracle man to walk through the door because I'm going to just keep it real. That $200,000 a year dude, that's six feet. 
he's not going to come on a dating show, especially like Kendra G's looking for you. And I'm just keeping it 100. You can have all the expectations and standards that you want, but that doesn't mean that they're going to be met. And when your standards is extremely high or next to impossible, well, guess what? It's not going to happen. Ain't nobody telling you to date a uh, Pookie or, or Tyrone. But then again, that's what most of y'all like. You know, you Keisha's and Riri's. You try to act like you a dead in the time, but actually you a Keisha and Riri. You know, with your, your four kids by five different men or six different men. And what I mean by four kids by six different men, you have six possible fathers that you know of. So at the end of the day, she spoke the truth. I think to a certain degree, she was shocked. And then it all hit her at once when she said, I realize nobody can't tell me that men aren't the prize. The same way y'all say that you're a catch. Well, just remember this. People catch fish all the time. People catch mice all the time. People catch wild animals all the time. But guess what? If I don't like the fish that I catch, guess what? I throw it back in the ocean. If you're a wild animal and I feel like I can't uh, basically simmer you down, I don't want to use the word tame or whatever. Well, guess what? I let you run wild right back in the forest. So just remember that. And I'm not trying to put anybody down. I'm not trying to put black women down. But some of y'all just need a reality check. Some of y'all are just out of touch with reality. I listen to how some of y'all talk. And I just be like, this person can't be serious. But then, lo and behold, you are. So I just want to give kudos to this, this woman. And I've been to Philadelphia. Philadelphia has some, some beautiful black women. Only problem is some of them, when you have a conversation with them, you just want to go another direction. Even if you get the number, you'd be like, I'm probably not going to call her. But I'll say this much. They got some 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 good ones out there as well, but <laughs> it didn't surprise me. But some women ain't going to heed the word of this lady. They're going to be in denial about what happened. Keep on searching. I hope you find what you're looking for. But it may be the longest search that you see. All the way from when you're 35 to when you're 65 and you're by yourself. You going to sleep alone every night and you got gray hair. And, you know, <laughs> you go through certain phases <laughs> with your body. You know, so with that being said, I'm going to close out this video. This is your boy Town Biz. I'm out. Thank you.